So before we start, I would like to re remind you a little bit about the general structure, general general process of writing. In any process, we have got pre-writing, writing, writing um, and post-writing stages. In pre-writing, what I'm going to do is understand the question and then make a planning. So I'm going to start with understanding the question. So the diagram below shows the process of milk production. Okay, I understand the uh, question basically. It's a diagram which shows the milk production process. And then I'm going to plan it. I'm going to calculate the number of states. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one is not a stage, guys. This is a place. Uh, five and six. So there are six stages. So I'm going to write my thesis. It's going to be something like... um. Uh, overall um, milk and dairy products are um, are let's say produce it produce it within six uh, stages. Okay guys, nothing complicated. just I'm going to write the number of stages and maybe I could include the beginning uh, stages starting from uh, grazing cows and ending with ready products ready instead of product we could use something some like synonym of product maybe ready um ready what what can we say with ready milk goods is it possible to say milk goods? Very interesting. Ready milk goods. No, I don't think. Yeah, no. Ending with uh, selling milk products at market. Um, at market or maybe at commodity. Mm, that's a really big, that's a nice one, but commodity I think it refers to something like um, mulk, right? So let, let's take a look at the definition of commodity anyway. I'm not sure. Commodity meaning, okay, commodity is a raw material or a primary agricultural product that can be bought and sold. Guys, don't forget it is material. It is not uh, the product, it is the material for the product. So that's why I'm afraid we cannot use commodity exactly. So maybe we could say selling milk products at the market is not necessary. Simply overall milk and dairy products are produced within six stages, starting from grazing cows and ending with selling milk products. Nice. Now um, I'm going to go on to writing process. Yes. Ending at the market shelves. Okay, this is ending. Oh, okay, then guys, there is a certain logic in writing, all right? So what is the logic? So when I am giving, there is something called a parallelism, right? So parallelism is something like this, A and B, right? Now, the logic behind parallelism is that you can never say A and two. That doesn't make sense. You can say one and two, or A and B, but you cannot say A and two because A and two are totally different things. I hope that makes sense. In the same way, you cannot say starting from starting from grazing cows. No, you cannot. You cannot say starting from grazing cows, but you can say starting in the field, in the field, and ending at the market shelves, supermarket shelves. Yes, at the, I'm not sure if the is necessary at this point because we don't know which uh, supermarket shelves exactly. It's in general, so we could simply say supermarket shelves. Now, um, in this meaning, my A is placed and B is placed to, so this is going to be very, very meaningful. And thank you very much for suggesting this structure. Uh, I think, uh, Abdul, yeah, uh, Abdullah John, yes. You know, it's still hard to uh, say your name for me because you're older, but at the same time, I keep forgetting your surname. Maybe you could change your name into your surname so that you can. I could look and pronounce it correctly every time. Thank you. 
So now I've explained parallelism. Just this was a bonus tip. Remember this. It's going to make your essay more beautiful and meaningful. Abdullah. Okay, I can say Abdullah, right? Nice. Okay, thank you. Now, in writing part, we are going to start with introduction. Okay, introduction consists of two parts. The first one is going to be topic sentence, which will be paraphrased version, paraphrased uh, version of uh, paraphrased version of what, paraphrased of version of my question. And then, um, then I'm going to have my thesis together with that. So let's write this one. So we will write it somewhere like here. So we'll paraphrase the question, right? So I will say the given process process explains how um, milk and milk products are produced at industrial level. Okay, at maybe at an industrial level because le level is countable. The given process explains how milk and milk products are produced at an industrial level. So instead of producer, I could use manufacturers. Manufacturer, this would make it a little bit beautiful. So the given process explains how milk and milk products are manufactured at an industrial level. Okay, commercially, okay. Okay, we could simply say manufacture it commercially. This is beautiful and good idea. I like it. So the given, thank you, Abdullah. Uh, this is good. So, and then I am just going to copy my thesis from here and paste it here. So the given process explains how milk and milk products are manufactured commercially. Overall, milk and dairy products are produced within six stages, starting in the field and ending at supermarket shelves. Now I'm going to take this away because I don't want it to be, no, 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 okay. I don't want it to distract us. So I want to, okay, hold on. I want to keep this here and then I'm going to continue, right? So I can see the diagram and now I will start from the beginning, right? First, I'm going to start um, first the, not the, but cows, are fat, um, fat by grazing and, okay, I could use a very uh, simple structure, cattles. We don't say cattles, but we could say cattle. We could, but uh, the point is first, cattle is uh, fat by grazing, uh, and then I want to use complex sentence structure. Pay attention to this point because this is a difference between 6.5 and 7, bad 7 students, right? First, cattle is fed by grazing before being milked, being milked by an auto, um, oh, automated machine. So first, cattle is fed by grazing before being milked by an automated machine. And then we are going to introduce the time twice a day. Or uh, we could say twice daily. Yeah, now this is a beautiful sentence. I will analyze the sentence a little bit. So my first um, initial, um, okay, actually, my first simple sentence was, first, cattle is fed by grazing, right? So first, cattle is fed by grazing. And the second sentence was, after that, after that, uh, they are, they are milked by an automated machine twice a daily. Now, if you want, you can write in this way too, but the problem with this one is, it is a little bit, um, it, it contains two simple structures. And that means it is something like band six or 6.5. Now, um, a skillful writer always tries to make, make the sentence compact and give more meaning inside one short sentence. So basically a skillful writer wants to keep the form shorter, but meaning deeper. I hope that makes sense. So that's why we are going to merge these two sentences into one sentence by saying first, uh, cattle is fed by grazing before being milked by an automated machine twice daily. This is before being milked is 
uh, participle structure. If you don't know participle, please look through at grammar uh, books and probably revising participle will pay off very well. We go on to the next one. Um, next, milk is stored. We are going to store it, right? Milk, you pay attention. I change the, the noun storage into word, store. Milk is stored in special refrigeration, refrigeration uh, containers, maybe. Next, milk is stored. There is nothing specific about this. I just paraphrased a couple of words. So instead of using refrigeration storage, I use it. It's stored in special refrigeration containers. Okay. Um, so maybe in the next step, we could use one more complex sentence. We could say, um, okay, from this, in coolers, you could say cooler too, but um, I, I know, cooler is a little bit different thing because um, if you look at the definition of cooler, hold on, I'm going to show you, I think. Yeah, let's be here. So um, cooler meaning, so cooler, or can it be cooler? I'm not sure, can we say cooler? Cooler is basically te thermos, right? It, I think. It's, it's, yeah, it's a vacuum thing. It's not refrigerator, but I'm not sure. Maybe it can be refrigerator too. Yeah, maybe we could say cooler, but I prefer not to use cooler at this point. It's okay. But if you want, yes, of course, why not? You can use cooler as possible. So um, from there, what I wanted to say is, look, I want, uh, in the last sentence, I gave the place. I want to connect my next sentence to this place. I will say from there, row product is transported to to um to to the dairy maybe we could say yeah dairy by special milk tankers okay now guys um this one is a very good skill uh, as you can see, in, in my last sentence, I gave place. And then in the next sentence, I connected uh, my uh, next sentence to the last sentence uh, by adding from there. So I am referring to this place and it is connecting two sentences. So this is going to boost your cohesion and coherence. It's going to add some pluses. Uh, it's going to make your uh, writing more comprehensible. That's why I highly recommend using this technique. So in this way, you're going to refer to a word in the previous sentence in your next sentence and two sentences will be connected together. Like I did in my example, next milk is stored in special refrigeration containers. From there, raw product is transported to the dairy by special milk tankers. Nice. So, um, and I could make it complicated one more time where the, where the process uh, splits into two separate directions. So directions. Um, now I'm making it complex by adding where, right? So the dairy by special uh, milk tankers. Now to this dairy, I am adding this where, right? where the process splits into two separate directions. And pay attention to the punctuation. In order to explain what are these two separate directions, I am going to use colon, right? And then after colon, I will say, maybe I could say uh, production of milk, maybe package it milk and um, production of dairy products. Now, in order to clarify what dairy products are these, I could open brackets and write down, it is cheese, it is cream, and it is butter, right? Is it, teacher, is it possible to write down them without brackets, products like cheese, cream, butter? So um, it is also possible production of, if you want to make it shorter, you can just 
make it like this, right? So you basically delete it and that's it. Production of cheese cream butter. But I wouldn't prefer it this way. Why? Because uh, we don't have many words. So in order to increase the number of words a little bit, I would like to make it a little bit longer, add some clarifying words to make it more beautiful and, and increase in the word, the number of words, of course. So um, now I'm saying what I'm what I was saying was where the process splits into two separate directions: production of packaged milk. Uh, I could even, yeah, package such as milk products. Yes, you could even make it like this: such as and make it even longer. Yes, Elmira. I have a question. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Um, can we use uh? production of, uh, instead of using production of uh, packaged milk and production of um, milk products, can we use a zoos of milk products? Zoos of milk products? You, you, did I get you correctly? Zoos of milk products. Yes. Okay, my question is, um, what is zoos referring to? It means uh, production. No, uh, production is in singular, so you should say that of. Uh, that of, sorry. Okay, so now look, production of packaged milk and that of milk products, it is theoretically, it is possible, but practically it would be a little bit com complex, not complex, complicated. So in order to avoid it, um, maybe we could use a paraphrasing some synonym i i got you you want to say that repeating production is not so beautiful you want to change it to something um that's a good point actually let me see production of packaged milk and uh, and uh, production of milk products such as cheese cream butter and um, what can we say Commercial manufacturer, no, not commercial manufacturer, making, maybe we could say making of, but um, no. Producing, producing packaged milk and making milk products. Maybe we could change it like this. So we could basically say producing packaged milk and Daily products. making milk products. If you wish, you can say dairy, but I mean, like we use a dairy already here. Um, we could simply say other products such as cheese cream butter. This would be much more beautiful because we have already used a dairy here. I don't want to repeat dairy and we use milk a lot as well. I don't want to use milk. We could simply say other products. So into now let's read the sentence one more time to make sure it's making sense. Can we say like cheese instead of dairy products? No, it's better to say other products. And dairy products, we, we actually use it. So, okay. From there, raw product is transported to the dairy by special milk tankers where the process. Now, I think this where is still incorrect because normally when we use relative clothes, we should, we should put it directly after the word dairy. From there, we could make it like this. Take a look. So, so from there, it is transported by special by special tankers to the dairy where now it makes much more sense. Yeah, it's more, much more beautiful and connected. So from there, raw product is transported by special tankers to the dairy where the process splits into two separate directions producing packaged milk and making other products such as cheese, cream, butter. This is a beautiful, totally perfect sentence. Good. Okay, now we are in the last stage. We should just add the word something like finally, uh, finally, all the ready producers, guys, producers, so, okay, if I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me check it one more time. Produces must mean produce noun meaning. So produce something that is produced. Yes, I was right. So uh, produces means something that is, it's a product actually, right? So something produced, produces. Produces, yeah, produce something that is produced. So it is it is a synonym of product, yield, right? Uh, finally, 
all the ready produces are sent to the supermarket shelves shelves and order it maybe not order it and place there for sales okay nice but the word limit it is disastrous we should have added much more to this uh because the word limits okay we could basically say for sales um but logically you understand customers we could say place it there to be sold to customers yeah okay now it is a perfect beautiful essay but the real problem is the process is in fact so short that we cannot make 150 words out of it okay this is customers, the main my sorry question. instead of customers will be consumers maybe because it's uh, consuming product so you see, it's just looking at one thing from different perspective. When I mean customers, I mean customers who visit the supermarket. And it makes sense. You're putting something in the supermarket to sell it to people who enter the supermarket. What you're saying is also correct. It's basically like to be sold to the consumers. It is people who consume milk. And it's not incorrect either, but uh, you are looking at the larger scale. You're not focused on super people who enter the supermarket. You're focused on uh, the whole economy, consumers. That's a difference. But if you wish, you can say consumers as well. It it doesn't to be sold to the consumers. It's just I don't really think that we can say to be sold to the consumers directly because consumers is something like large. They do not buy. They consume something. Uh, do, do you understand that below? Does it make sense? Yes. yes so okay. I will repeat again. I will try to explain more. Consumers yeah, do not simply that. buy, they consume. It's on a larger scale. So if you want to say consume or consumer, you're referring to economical scale, right? Eco eco economical scale, yes. Economic or I think economic, yes. Economic scale. Um, but when I say cu customers, I am looking at um, medium scale. I'm looking at supermarkets, right? I'm looking at supermarket and at supermarket, you can sell something to customers and they can buy it. No, I, I, I understand like eatable things uh, belongs to consumers, eatable things. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter. Uh, for example, customers can buy anything. They can buy eatable things, clothes, um, they can buy, they can buy service. They can buy, I don't know, anything possible. Okay. So now, um, in order to make it a little bit longer, we are going to add one final character, right? So we have written introduction. Um, okay. Then we wrote body. Basically, uh, body is describing stages one by one. So it is important to note that to use more um, complex sentences. What is the complex sentence, guys? Complex sentence is this thing that we use it at the beginning, right? Cattle is fed by grazing before me, milk, milk it. Actually, no, it's it's this one. Hold on. Um, uh, this one. So row product is transported by the dairy where the process splits into two separate directions. This is a complex, this is an example of complex sentence. And finally, we are going to give one summary or some people like to call it overview. And now guys, the problem here is not the problem. The common, the common um, tradition is to put overview here. A lot of uh, teachers teach to start it like this overall and blah, 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 right? But I don't really like this style. Why? Because I already gave overall here. And actually, I don't like using the word overall. I normally use on the whole or in ge on general. Yeah, I'm sorry, in general. So, um, okay. So on the whole, milk and dairy products are produced within six stages. And at the end, um, I want to give one more summary. In short, uh, the process of producing milk and other products 
um, or other yields made from it embodies um, six important states. The okay. Um, we, what what we could say in short, the process of producing milk to sum up. Yes, you can use sum up as well, but the problem here is not this one. It's okay. In short, the process of milking, we are repeating thesis. I just wanted to pay attention to the final product. Maybe I could say um, um, the, 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 maybe we could say instead of, I want to, I'm searching for some word that, that can be a paraphrased version of process. M maybe I could say, um, method or no, uh, maybe say manufacturing, manufacturing ends with milk products ready to be consumed at supermarket shelves. Not shelves, what the hell is wrong with shelves? Shelves. So manufacturing ends with milk products ready to be consumed at supermarket shelves. Yeah. Okay, package it. Produces like pasture. I would like to make it longer. That's why I'm going to add this one. Like pas pasture pasteurize it and package it milk as well as Others are sent Yeah, guys, I would like to use such as here. Okay, I would like to use such as here and also not to be repetitive. Others products for, for instance, for instance, cheese cream butter, nice. Now it looks much better. I am not very sure how many words we could write. Oh God, we, it was 146 words. So we are four words short of the, maybe um, in short, no, we could say in conclusion, in conclusion, it would be better, but it's not, we are writing conclusion, right? So we are, we could say, we could say to summarize actually, summarize, manufacturing ends with milk products ready to be consumed at supermarket shelves, supermarkets. Okay, we could say supermarket and shop shelves, shop shelves. Is it possible to say shops? Supermarket shelves and shops. Okay, I think we need to add two more words. I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, two more words. The given first, let's take a look one more time. And, and yeah, from the beginning, the given process explains how milk and milk products are manufactured commercially. On the whole, milk and dairy products are produced within six stages, um, starting in the field and ending at supermarket shelves. Um, maybe I could add here, and shops, supermarket shelves, as well as shops, yeah. It's a little bit repetition, but this is okay because we are not repeating it too much. And we've got 152 words, you can see it here, and a beautiful essay for band seven at least, I suppose. So I'm going to analyze it one more time. So the given process explains how milk and milk products are manufactured commercially. This is our topic sentence. I just paraphrase it, the question, right? And then I'm going to give my thesis. On the whole, milk and dairy products are produced within six stages, starting in the field and ending at supermarket shelves, as well as shops. So I made this sentence a little bit longer than it was originally to add a little bit um, 
um, add some words because to meet the word limit. Because guys, um, you must write, you must make sure to write at least 150 something words uh, because when the examiners check your work, uh, when they find mistakes, for instance, let's imagine this D is extra here, they are going to cross away this V and then they will not count it. They will basically be counting from the given. Now, then after that, if you don't have enough words, this is going to bring you some minus to your score. That's why make sure that you always write a little bit more than 150. So the best ratio would be between 150 and 170 or maybe 180. And remember, uh, sometimes when um, the information is not enough, like in such cases, you can add some some words you can explain but do not make sure that it's not something that's not given it should still be given inside the picture maybe you can describe some process more in in more detail right first um and some of you might be wondering hey teacher this is first this is a, such a simple sentence simple word like uh, how am i supposed to get high score with this guys it is totally normal even um, IELTS examiners, a lot of uh, people who designed IELTS tests, like a lot of doctors, not doctors, no, I got, I'm, I'm just getting ahead of myself now. So um, a lot of experienced teachers, tutors, IELTS experts state that it is totally fine to use simple words in order to increase comprehension. The most important thing is not to show off your vocabulary. The most important thing is to use necessary vocabulary in order to make your writing as clear to the reader as possible. First, cattle is fed by grazing before being milked by an automated machine twice daily. This was a beautiful, a uh, little bit complex sentence um yeah uh, abdullah you're going to make it too complicated in that way if you mean uh, abdullah has suggested in the thesis that we should describe not only start and ending but we should say it continues with something but uh, abdullah in that way you're going to make it too complicated i'm afraid in one summary using our fantasy Shahla, this is a good question please do not use your fantasy okay it's very dangerous okay do not use your fantasy because fantasy, your fantasy can lead to a lot of wrong spots. And also, like I said before, if you are going to add, if you are going to add something that is not given in the picture, you will be out of topic. And if your essay is out of topic, do not expect anything more than 5.5 .5 in the in the best case. Okay. Okay. Good. Um next, you see how am I using these words? Pay attention to them first and then i use it uh next right so next milk is stored in special refrigeration containers and then i use it from there these are sequencing words first next from there the raw pro raw product is transported by special tankers to the dairy where this process splits i'm not sure if i use if i need to use comma here but i use it anyway just to be sure dairy where the process splits into two separate directions and then by semicolon i'm explaining what these separate directions are producing packaged milk and making other products such as, for instance cheese cream and butter but actually add here and butter cheese cream and butter finally all the ready produces Finally, all the ready produces such as pasteurized and packaged milk, as well as others are sent. Okay, as well as others such as, okay, I would like to put this here after this one, because I will explain the punctuation later, but so that you can understand what I mean here is guys, this part is extra. The original sentence is all the ready producers are sent to the supermarket. Now I'm adding this extra part to make it a bit clearer and increase the word number of words. So I'm going to separate it with double commas from both sides, such as posturized and packaged milk and as, as well as others are sent to the supermarket. Um, or maybe we could say, yeah, as well as others are super are, are sent to the supermarket supermarket shelves and place it there. You see, uh, by the way, this is um, post writing process. 
uh, after I finished writing, I am reading my my essay and I'm correcting my uh, spelling mistakes. For instance, it was supermarket. Now I corrected it to supermarket, right? Supermarket. Supermarket shelves and place it there are sent to the supermarket shelves and place it there to be sold to the to be sold to the customers. Okay, and finally, to summarize the process of producing milk and other yields made from it embodies, very nice, the process of producing milk and other yields made from it embodies six important stages. I also use the word embodies, pay attention. This is a vocabulary from our previous units. Uh, six important stages, manufacturing ends with milk products ready manufacturing ends with milk products okay basically this is the original sentence and this is uh additional part to 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 products it's explaining what kind of products is it what kind of products is it it is products which are ready to be consumed at supermarket shelves and shops nice beautiful so basically right now we've got band 7 se with 100 and blah blah something can you please send it to the telegram of course i can yeah, sure. Probably I'm going to upload the video to my YouTube channel as well. Just um, I will upload the video to my YouTube channel and to my Telegram channel. You can find it there too. Don't worry about that. And probably I will upload the file as well.